Want to get Stamp.io set up on your Shopify store? Well, I'm gonna walk through the full setup in this video. Let's go. I love Stamp.io. I use it on all my stores and recommend it to many of my clients. It's fantastic because you can easily collect reviews from your customers as well as display them on your website in a really nice way. On your product pages, on your home page, even a reviews page dedicated just towards reviews. It's fantastic for also helping collect UGC, user generated content from your customers. This is when your customers will send in a photo or a video of them using a product, which is insanely helpful for closing new customers. It looks fantastic on your product pages, your website, and you can use this content in your ads, on your website, in your marketing. It's incredibly valuable. Adding reviews to the store can really increase the conversion rate so, so much. It's insane. There was one store I worked with where we imported all the reviews from another platform, Etsy, onto the Shopify store and it doubled, more than doubled, the conversion rate from 3% to 8% for that store. This is because it pulled in 500 reviews as well as user-generated content like photos, stuff like that into their store and we put them to the same products because she, she had the same products on this Shopify store as her Etsy store and boom, suddenly all that traffic we were paying for on Google, on Facebook just increased in value because we were paying the same cost per click, cost per uh, impressions, but suddenly we were converting a much higher proportion of that traffic which reduced the CPA significantly for that traffic. It was fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through the full setup of setting up Stamp.io on your Shopify store. If you're new here, my name is Sam from Key Commerce and I help e-commerce store owners just like you grow and scale your store. If you wanna see more tutorials just like this one, please subscribe. I put out a lot of great content tutorials, case studies just like this one. Um, but apart from that, let's get into the video. Let's go. Hey guys, all right, I'm now in my computer, into my Shopify dashboard. Let's install stamped.io. Let's go into apps over here and we're gonna visit the Shopify app store. It's gonna open up this window and we wanna go in and search for stamped.io. So let's go stamped. .io, search for that, it should come up straight away. Come on, there it is. Here it is, Stamp.io product reviews and UGC. 3,338 reviews, 4.9 stars, fantastic. Has a free plan available, that's awesome. Let's add that in by clicking that button. There we go. It's gonna ask, yes, do you wanna install this? Install. That tells you all the, the details that it has access to. Takes a little while. Give it a moment. Alrighty. Now the way stamp that I works is that you actually have your own little dashboard as well. Um, so you access that in Shopify, but then it logs in to this dashboard. So now it's figuring all this stuff out. That's why it keeps changing. But once you let it go, okay, now you have to go through the setup. It's really, really simple. Your type of e-commerce business. So for this store, I'm going to put in drop shipping. That's totally fine. How'd you hear about, um, Stamp.io? Oh, you can say a friend. That's me. Um, I wonder what happens when you press that. No, it's put a friend. That's me. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now let's wait for it. It looks like it's been a, a bit of an error. Uh, what you do here is you add in your logo, your brand name, um, the, the color for the stars. This is basically customizing the email that people get um, when they, after they purchase a product and they wait. So you're gonna be here requesting reviews from your customers. It's really, really awesome. You can now go in here and basically customize the email and um, like what sort of question it is, um, put in your logo, um, all that sort of stuff, like what the subject is. You can edit that yourself, like I recommend going through and making it fit towards your brand. Um, but I'm just gonna go next and just go to the next one just so that you can we can get it all set up. So here has the different plans. Um, I'd start with just the, the free plan just to get those reviews started. I do recommend a paid plan. I use premium for most of my stores. Um, but basic, you know, that's that's great because that gets lets you collect uh, photo reviews and checkout reviews. Photo reviews is really, really awesome. Like that's fantastic because you can actually get those images from customers when they're using the product, which is fantastic. So, um, so yeah, I like to just do current, that's totally fine. Um, here, it's actually gonna import your reviews in your store that you've collected maybe from your Shopify reviews. Um, and it's gonna import um, 
no, no. So yeah, it's gonna sorry, it's gonna import import past orders and then request reviews from all those customers. So suddenly you have all these customers that have purchased from you in the last you know four months, and you can get them all and um, send them all an email requesting a review. So that's you know fantastic. I don't have any orders here, but uh, on this this is a dummy store. But basically that's something you can do. And suddenly boom, you you can even set this up and get all these reviews, including photo reviews for all your your products very very quickly. So now we've already set it up. So that's easy. Okay guys, so now that we've installed stamp.io, what I'm gonna show you right now is very, very important and that's getting your branding and the widgets actually installed on your website. So we're gonna go down here, this little bit down here that's called settings. Let me move my big face out of the way. And so the first thing I like to do is go into displays and then branding. So here, this is just to, to make sure that you've got those emails, the branding set up. I talked about it a little bit before, but that's really, really important uh, for all the different colors and all that sort of stuff for your brand there. And there's more here, which has all the settings about like the email sequence, the email that you're going to send through isn't enabled. You can add extra emails too. That So if you wait some days, which I really recommend doing, if someone doesn't review, they might just need a quick nudge. There's stuff like email frequency, uh, when you actually send stuff, go through there and, and change a lot of that sort of stuff there, which is really, really awesome. Uh, but then going down here, the branding, that's important. Yes, that's really important. You also have uh, for the widgets, the branding for the widgets and the widgets. This is basically what it actually looks like on your website. So you have all these different, uh, you know, how it looks on your actual home page, how it looks on your product page. Um, and all that sort of stuff here. And so you can go through and make sure that you install. So for example, display widgets, this is uh, little ones that you can add and it's probably not gonna show because I'm using ad blocker, but basically you'll be able to see um, here how it looks with all these different variations of the design. And it's fantastic. Like you can have your know, Instagram feed, um, you can have like a gallery, a slider, a carousel, you can have a full page that's basically just showing reviews and that's I've seen that to work really well. It's also really good for SEO, but you should go through here and you need to make sure that you enable them as well. So go through and uh, make sure that they're installed on your site. Um, what I would recommend is wait until you do have a couple of reviews before installing them. You don't want your website to show that there are zero reviews and it's really blatantly saying, hey, no one has bought this product yet. No one likes this product. I would wait until you have say three to five reviews on, on a product before enabling it there. Um, and that's just a little quick tip. But apart from that, that's how you uh, edit the settings for stamp.io. Okay, that was the basic setup for stamp.io. I hope that that helped you and you got your stamp.io app all set up in your Shopify store. It's fantastic because you can show a lot of reviews on your store in different formats with the different widgets and displays. It's, it's really, really effective. If you found this video helpful and it did help you set up stamp.io on your Shopify store, please give this video a thumbs up. That tells YouTube, hey, we're making good content for my people out there. Apart from that, if you have any questions at all about the process or anything else e-commerce related, leave a comment below. I check all the comments and I try and respond to every single question that you have. So please leave a comment if you have any questions. Please consider subscribing. I have heaps of other videos on building your e-commerce store, like running traffic to your store, building the store, building the brand and all kinds of stuff like that. So please check out my channel and my other videos. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.